Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're new, I'm Megan Remedy, holistic nutritionist. And in today's video, I am going to be answering a subscriber's question. So Ziana asks, why can veganism make you fat? This is something that really bugs me and no channel, vegan or ex-vegan, talks about it. They all talk about how you will lose a ton of weight while having a full belly, but I gained weight while plant-based. I was eating quite healthy, quote unquote, no junk food, almost everything cooked and prepared by me from scratch, and yet I was getting bigger and flabbier every day. I retained water in my tissues. I got soft and got bigger. I don't think I'm the only one, dot, dot, dot. So no, Ziana, you are not the only one. What is common is a lot of people either lose weight or they gain weight. They have trouble either maintaining their weight or they are getting bigger. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why people respond differently and you could go either way. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So a lot of people think that losing weight or gaining weight is as simple as calories in and calories out, and it's just not true. Um, in general, calories in and calories out can obviously influence weight loss or weight gain, of course, but when people have underlying conditions, this can skew it in a different direction, and you might, might not necessarily know why. So conditions like type 1 or type 2 diabetes. These can be brought on from a vegan diet because the vegan diet is inherently high in carbohydrate. So type 1 diabetes is usually um, autoimmune related or genetic and type 2 is usually lifestyle and diet. So either or can happen and with type 1 diabetes you will tend to lose a lot of weight and with type 2 you will tend to gain a lot of weight. So that's a pre-existing condition that could be going on um, related to the vegan diet that's making you lose a lot of weight or gain a lot of weight. Um, I know in this video we're focusing on why you're gaining weight because that was the focus of the question. Um, but I want to explain to people how some people can get the result of losing a lot of weight and some people can get the result of gaining a lot of weight being on the same diet. It all depends on how your body responds to the diet and how well it does on the diet. Some people can last longer and handle it longer and some people can't. Um, so also in regards to the thyroid, and this is the main part of why people either lose or gain weight on a vegan diet is because a vegan diet is inherently thyroid suppressing. There's a lot of foods that vegans have to eat abundantly to get enough calories, to get enough nutrition, and these foods can suppress the thyroid function. And this is known, this is, there's many studies out there. If you want to take a look at what foods specifically that I'm referring to, you can take a look at my video called Hidden Dangers of Plant Foods. I will put it up here, the little info button, and also put it in the description because I'm not gonna go into detail about foods that are thyroid suppressing in this video, but they're all in that other video. So with your thyroid health, it can either go one or two ways you can have hypothyroid which is the slowing down of your metabolism the slowing down of the thyroid hormones or hyperthyroidism which is the speeding up of your metabolism and hormones Hel healthy people are somewhere in the middle so if you have hypo you're going to gain weight if you have hyper you're going to lose weight because your metabolism is running faster the thyroid runs your metabolism and so your metabolism can be too slow or too fast. A healthy metabolism will be just right. So the vegan diet has a lot of thyroid suppressing foods like goitrogens, like foods containing high amounts of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Combined with the lack of tyrosine that's in animal foods, it's found abundantly in meats. The thyroid needs iodine to sufficiently work and a lot of vegan diets lack the thyroid's role is to make sure that the cells in your body are working properly it does this by using hormones to deliver messages to every single one of them 
Now, the membrane of a cell is made out of cholesterol, it's made out of fat, and it determines the healthy fat around the cell determines the permeability of the cell. So you want a healthy permeability. You want things to be able to get in the cell that need to get in and things to get out of the cell like waste that need to get out. Without a healthy permeability, without eating a healthy quantity of fat in the diet, this per- this cell membrane can be greatly affected and the ability for T3 or nutrition to get into the cell can be altered. So T3 is a thyroid hormone. There's also T4. T3 is the active and T4 is the inactive. Um, and they instruct every single cell in the body when to consume oxygen and nutrients. And this maintains the body's metabolism. So if you're eating a lot of foods that are thyroid suppressing, if the integrity of the, if the membrane integrity of your cell is compromised because of the diet or the lack of fat in the diet, then this can cause a lot of problems for the thyroid. So you don't have to be diagnosed with any of these conditions to be experiencing the onset of the symptoms. But I hope after this video you can see why some people can experience extreme weight loss and some people experience extreme weight gain on a vegan diet. And for those of you that were waiting on my glute video or my workout video, because of the whole coronavirus situation, the gyms are closed right now. And I live in a pretty small New York City apartment, so I'm not really able to film, film home workouts. Um, our Airbnb is empty right now because of the coronavirus situation, so if we don't get in any bookings, I may be doing videos down there. Um, but for now, I don't really have a place to film the workout videos, so that's going to have to wait until this whole coronavirus situation has ended, unfortunately. So once that's all done, I will come up with those videos that you guys have been looking forward to. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think about the content and share it with someone it would help. And until the next video, happy healing.